Now, with that, we have to know that there is a new sound coming from heaven into Judah. Julie was singing this this morning. Into God's Judah tribe. Uh, That's most of us in this room. God's Judah tribe was the governmental tribe that apostolically, prophetically knew how to use sound to display his kingdom plan. Now, that's who we are. I've got a book on all the tribes and their redemptive gifts out there. Uh, And in the midst of it, it is that sound that will shift things out of God's authority people, authoritative people that are legislating as they move. But without the sounds, you can't legislate. And so where, what we have to understand is, now think of the window again. Let me show you this. We have to command new openings this, this year. That's what the Lord's saying to us is, I have a remnant tribe that's rising up from territory to territory to command new openings. And when they do, and the sound of their command comes up, or when they agree with the sound that I'm sending down, all of a sudden a new opening will come into the atmosphere for me to move. And therefore, we are coming into a new movement. Now, like Yeshua, the real identity, this era is over. The real war over this era, see, the war will intensify greatly. It's already intensifying. I, I mean, I'm out there. I'm, I'm out there all over the world. It is... I, I, Set up going to Ethiopia. The week we were to get there, they had a coup. I was to meet with the president. They tried to kill him. You see, it's intensifying all over. America is intensifying. Israel, you have to watch because it's God's firstborn nation. And what's going on there is always a model for the other nations to see. The war is intensifying. We have entered a season of dragon line wars. Therefore, without the Judah sound, the dragon will rise up. And he's fire breathing and he will singe what's happening. Now, this applies greatly to California. This is where this rest as key in California. And I'll explain to you why in a moment. Because I have been involved with China since the 80s. That's really why I left the Baptist church. It wasn't because I spoke in tongues. They tolerated me. Because I, I, I just had, I'm, I'm more than a pretty face. I had lots going for me. <laughs> Therefore, they tolerated me. But I had to leave because I saw China and I saw Russia And I was called for us to move into those nations even back then. And I met with the key people and they said, we don't go into close nations. It's against the law. I said, well, (laughs) some of us know how to go past the law. (laughs) No wonder they didn't like me after that. I'm telling you. Now. So the dragon now is coming into fullness. I've written three books about this. How China is becoming the nation that we must watch. How China and Russia interact. See, and so it becomes important. California is where the root of this lies in America. The West Coast is where the root of this lies. Where... The Chinese people in the next decade have the greatest revival. Well, that means the Asian people where they settled here in California after they built the railroad, the Asian people, that root that God has in them is going to rise up.
So if you have Asian descent in the next decade, you will have revival. But you have to understand there's a dragon spirit that's set against that ever happening. So you become the state of conflict. I don't think you ever see yourself as the state of conflict for the dragon war. Without the line rising up and the sound coming forth, this will be a very difficult time for the West Coast. Therefore, worship has to come into a new dimension. And Dutch, I know this is one of the reasons the Lord showed you the Northwest, because it becomes key. And remember, China already owned Long Beach and uh, I mean Southwest, yeah. Uh, uh, thank God we're already past the Northeast. Uh, uh, the Southwest here, because, see, China owned Long Beach, Port, and our president made him give it back. Now, now he is a very, I'm not real political, but he's a very interesting person. But he's done some good things, you know. He, he declared Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. No other leader in history has done that. And do you know what that did? That realigned us with the Word of God. All of a sudden, I'm, I don't know that he knew that. I, don't, I think God uses people and they don't even know they're being used. But I think he's beginning to understand that better. And that's why there's such a war over Israel. And it will always work through religion and political dominions. So... You have to continue developing God's prototype here without it ever getting a religious force over it. Because the Lord told us to beware of the Herodians and beware of the Pharisees. And California becomes this incredible, beautiful war field ahead. Where, but... But it's not like we think when you think back when people were in spiritual warfare and all of that. And I used to teach a master's course at one of the universities in this. You, it's, not, it's not that way to think that we're to just run out and scream up at the air. That's not what this war is like now. It is a very shrewd dimension, and God's kingdom people are becoming more shrewd than Belial. Vicki, stand up. Vicki Norton, let's thank God for her. And take that mantle. I've got it here. Take this back to her since she's running for the Senate. And... The Lord says, I'm going to make you more shrewd than the sons of Belial. The Lord says, matter of fact, many of the enemies that people thought were enemies of what you are attempting to be in this day ahead, I'm going to make them your friends for a season. And the Lord says, in doing that, you need to have an eagle eye and you need to know what's blossoming and what's withering. And the Lord says, when you see something withering, tell it to dry up. When you see something blossoming, you tell it to come open. For the Lord says, I am putting a supernatural favor and shrewdness on you. Watch your words, for you will start seeing them manifest when they come out of your mouth. I loose that over you in Jesus' name. 